in today's demo, I'm going to install our VBNG router on this uh, LANR NCA1515A tabletop uh, network appliance box. It has a Intel Atom processor with 8 cores and 16 gig of RAM and um, uh, 8 1 gig ports. Uh, before this installation, um, I already have a CentOS 7.6 installed with a minimal software package. Uh, also, the box from the picture you can see it has eight one gig ports, four of them on PCI 02, two of them on 06, and um, two of them on 07. Now, let's take a look at the installation flow. First, we download NetElast VBNG router software installer package, and secondly, we install VBNG router, and then we check the installation make sure everything is running and then we request license and then lastly we apply license and then we are done first let's take a look at downloading our software there are two ways you can download our software you can use our download script which I will show you shortly or you can request a download link from our sales team and then copy the download file to the host where you're going to install our VBNG router on uh, let's take a look So you can see I have uh, CentOS uh, release 7.6 1810 installed on this server and on this um, tabletop box rather. And now let's uh, take a look at the hardware. So before we do that, let's uh, let me show you how to get uh, how to download that Elastic software. Uh, so what we do is we uh, use wget um, www.netelastic tick.com forward slash download and then here you will see a script a download script called download so let's make it executable and uh, now we can run the script um, <coughs> there are a lot of things here that are very uh, relevant to what we're doing here. Uh, but first, before we install the software, let's first download the tool script. So I hit five, <coughs> and I got some scripts here. Uh, you can see there's a tool script, it's tarball. So let's um, unpack this. Okay, and now I should have a tools folder. So I come into tools folder. There are a bunch of scripts here. Um, I will show you all these, what these scripts are for in separate videos. But uh, um, for today, I'm going to just uh, use the check hardware script. So you see the, the script, there's a script here called check hardware. We run this, I want to show you what the platform looks like. So if we scroll down to the top, <coughs> Uh, you can see our hardware. This is a Lanner uh, NCA 1515A box. It has eight cores. It is a uh, Intel Atom processor. Uh, it has 16 gig of RAM, and it has these many NIC cards. Uh, I mean, this many uh, ports. Uh, it has a, um, a four ports on PCI bus 02 and uh, two ports on 06 and 07. <coughs> so I'm going to install the router today. Uh, I'm going to just use the um, uh, PCI bus 6 and 7 as the forwarding port, these four ports here as the forwarding ports. And then I'm going to, uh, the, the other ports I'm going to uh, use as management ports, now using them. Um, so I got a plenty of room, I got a 61 gigs uh, free space here. I can install the software now. And uh, there's some other information here that you can, um, uh, the script will display. So to install the um, Net Elastic VBNG router. So uh, let's get the router first, the, the software installer package. So what do we do is we first, uh, we run the download script again. Oh, we're in a different folder. So let's go back to that folder and uh, run the download script again. <coughs> and uh, uh, we'll choose zero which is VBNG router software package. And then we, um, in this particular case, because we're installing in host mode, we're going to choose VBNG host applications. Okay. 
and the installer will um, begin I mean the downloading script will download begin to download the package uh, this will take a few minutes now we have the um, installer uh, ready already downloaded let's take a look <coughs> so it is here next I'll show you how to install the VBNG router it involves unpacking the installer package and navigate to the installer folder and run the setup script and just follow the on-screen prompt and lastly just restart host after installation now let's uh, install the VBNG router so w we already have the package downloaded to the um, host now let's unpack that so we unpack them we unpack the package <coughs> all right this will create a folder um, just unpack folder go into the folder and you will see a setup script here um, so this is all we need to run actually so we just say um, setup and this is going to install um, a bunch of dependencies <coughs> dependency packages this may take a few minutes this will take quite a few take a few minutes but um, it won't take very long I think it will take uh, five or six minutes maybe at the end of the dependency installation the installer is going to uh, prompt uh, us to uh, make some selections Here we are. So all the dependencies have been installed. Now the installer is asking us uh, what interfaces we want to use as the router forwarding forwarding interfaces. And you can see, remember, I said earlier we're going to use these four interfaces as the router. These are the router forwarding interfaces. Uh, so uh, we just enter them uh, by their index number, separated by space. So we do four, five, six, seven. So this means the router will have four forward interfaces. And the interface are these interfaces on PCI, two interfaces on PCI 6, two interfaces on PCI bus 7. And then uh, here, we um, uh, the installer asking us to input how many cores, CPU cores, we want for the data plane. Um, the rule of thumb is if you have a 10 giga port, uh, we want the uh, the number of cores to be the number 10 giga ports plus two uh, for example you have four 10 giga ports selected you would do you would choose six cores uh, here um, these are all one giga ports it doesn't really need that many cores so we'll just uh, if you let's say if i if i say like three cores that means that we'll assign three cores to work on four interfaces uh, they will be shared you know the workload will be shared by the three cores so let's let's just use because um, we got a lot of cores. You know we got an A core, so let's use four four cores for uh, for the data plane forwarding. <coughs> and um, now uh, it's basically saying, do we want to configure the management port or not? <coughs> so uh, this for the, I already have this configured in Linux, so I really don't need the the installer to configure the management port for me. So I just choose no. and now it's asking me to install what the router version and in this case in this package there's only one version which is the atom version and uh, this uh, three letter uh, means atom so we just choose zero and um, i believe that's all we need to do and the installer is going to install all the related files and at the end of the installation it is asking us to um, get our um, permission to reboot the machine so we'll hit yes to reboot the machine now the installation is complete and uh, 
uh, we'll wait a few for, for a few minutes and when we come back we'll check the um, the running state of the VBNG router. In the last step I'll show you how to check the installation and uh, log into the router and apply license. Now we already have the VBNG installed. Uh, we went through the installation process and uh, we um, at the end of the installation uh, it asked us to uh, reboot the machine. We did. Now we log back in and uh, let's see if the uh, VBNG is running. To check the VBNG is running or not, we type flex. Uh, let me log in and then we do flex BNG. And you can see these are all the BNG processes. And if you see all of them are running and um, and uh, in green running state, that means the VBNG is running perfectly. <coughs> so now let's log into the router. To log in the router, we type conf D CLI. And now we're in uh, essentially in uh, router mode. Uh, so here we can, uh, for example, we can do a show running config. So these are the current configurations on the router. These are default configuration that come with the installation. Um, uh, you can be begin to build your own configuration on top of this. Uh, one thing at this point is very important is check the license. So we do uh, in comfy we type a show license info, <coughs> and um, uh, this is the license for me. See, license is not installed. Uh, when license is not installed, you are not going to show inter uh, the interface is not going to be uh, shown. The interface are disabled. So let's say show uh, running config for example interfaces and you will see there's no entries found that means uh, because there's no license applied we you know, at the installation we install four we enabled four interfaces but none of them showing because we haven't applied license yet so at this point you just contact your natal sales and send them this serial number and uh, they will send you a installation uh, they will send your license file and uh, I'll show you how to install the license file uh, in the next segment uh, once you receive that. So uh, just to summarize, once you uh, once the BNG is installed, use a flex BNG, type flex BNG to um, actually you need to exit this. Let's do this one more time. Use a flex type flex BNG to check all the processes are running. And it means the BNG is running perfectly. And then you can log you can um, um, get into the router uh, router mode, check the router configuration. And here you would uh, type show license info and um, uh, this will um, will show the serial number of this particular installation and you need to send this to net elastic sales and they will give you a eval license or um, a, a permanent license uh, for this installation and after you apply the license and this router the all the interfaces um, associated with this router will become um, active here um, let's install license to install the license, first we have to copy the license file to the uh, host and under certain directory. Here I'm listing the directory. You need to copy the license file to to this location. <coughs> and then uh, let's look at here. You see the license file here. This is the license file. <coughs> and um, to install license, um, so we what we need to do is go to ConfD. And uh, let's first show license info. Uh, you can see license is currently not installed. <coughs> and to install license, we just need to type the command, um, say license install, and then just hit tab key, and it will show up the uh, the license file in that directory. And here, there's only one, so we just type tab lab, and just tab, it'll auto complete. And then we just hit enter, and uh, looks like installation is complete. Um, uh, you may reboot the device to uh, to, to uh, uh, for it to take effect. Um, let's see. Now let's see. Um, let's let's now show the interfaces. Uh, interface state. Now we see interfaces. Uh, let's just show IF management status. Uh, let's put it in tabular format. And now you can see all the interfaces. There are uh, four foreign interfaces and they are all listed here. 
and uh, let's also show the license state so license info uh, now you can see the license is active and you have 90 days uh, left in the um, in the license uh, valid period at this point um, the router installation is complete and license applied and is ready to configure the router for services